believe that that belongs to you. You can borrow it any time. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess I was dreaming. Uh, more like sleep kickboxing, and this blanket was the enemy. I was, I was just covering you up. Thank you. Wow, I, I don't even remember crashing last night. Oh, you were exhausted, for good reason. I mean, babe ends up in the ER, and then the whole thing that happened with your mom. I didn't have the heart to wake you. But um, I made you some tea. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yesterday was crazy, but at least they're both okay. I mean, my mom's intervention was just as intense as watching Babe get her heart shocked. But it worked. She's on her way to rehab. When she made that decision, I knew she was going to kick this. That's major. Yeah. We're all just praying that this is the first step towards a lot of healing. Maybe my mom will find a little peace. Add my prayer to yours. Well, your mom's in good hands, and um, you got some sleep, so get yourself showered, because we got to get this day into gear. Wait, why? What, what time is it? Am I late for work? Work? My friend, you have the wrong schedule, because I am skipping classes. We got ourselves a play date. A play date? Yeah, you know, special set aside time so everyone's gonna have fun. Oh. You remember fun? Uh, vaguely, but I'm too big for the sandbox now, and I gave away all my Malibu Mimi dolls. Oh, great. Okay, work with me here, please, okay? <laughs> so, first we have a picnic at the park, and it's optional, cotton candy required. And then we're gonna cheerlead the 5K runners to benefit the future Miranda Montgomery Children's and Winners. I've been talking to the sponsors, and they expect a huge turnout. I know, it's gonna be great. But then we're ready to call off. We're gonna hit the boathouse, because there's a concert playing. Scarlet Serenity. <gasps> I love them! <laughs> I know you do. So we can rate their chops and playlists when we meet up with the gang for some fried calamari, some pizza margarita, our favorite, right? What? Uh Oh, no, 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 I, I'm not planning, like, um, like a super date or anything. I wasn't doing that. No, I just wanted to have some, you know, good old indoor, outdoor, no strings no, kind of fun. this is, Maggie. I know exactly what you're doing. You want to keep this day jam-packed so I don't have 30 seconds to think about what happened a year ago today. Well, I don't want you to be alone, that's for sure. And I figured if I could give you a day to remember, it would help you replace the day that you want to forget. You're amazing. Come on, Arcana, you ready for the non-stop <laughs> loop-de-loop fun machine? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, well then get your lazy bones into action because I have the perfect spot for a picnic and I don't want to lose it. Okay. Wait. Thank you. Come on. You want another double deck? Mm, no way. No? Nope. Stuffed. Oh. You have jam or something on your face. Uh, where? Um, yeah. right. Right there. I, <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you burned it. No, you freaking girl. I'm melting. I'm melting. You know, I, I came here that night after. Oh, I, I, I didn't know. Do you want to leave? Oh, I, no, 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 that's okay. okay. Being here with you, laughing, wet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm never going to forget what happened, but I know that it's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I saw a cute spot over here. Oh, you saw that. Move in there. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. So hi. good to see you. Oh. See you too. Thank Babe. you for coming by to see me. Okay. How are you feeling? Good. You know, well, great, actually. But it looks like we all needed a park fix. <laughs> Hey, hey, babe, I, I, I heard that we're, like, kind of sort of related. I mean, Dave is your dad. He's my cousin, so you're my cousin 
wants removed. That's crazy. Hey, cousin. Hey, cousin. Hey. <laughs> This is fun. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I mean, we have a bunch of food. Why don't you join us? You know, thanks. We would love to, but we don't want to crush your party. Uh, but if you don't mind us crashing, move on over. Thanks. If that's cool with you. <laughs> that's great. Okay. That's great. Pull up a double bag. Right. <laughs> yeah, come on. She's got my Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're counting down to the start of the 5K race to benefit the Miranda Montgomery oh, Women and Children's Center. We, we gotta get over there. We gotta get over there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Why don't you guys go? And we'll stay and watch your stuff. Hey, Bianca, we're gonna give you a check and baby hey. my, my name. And if uh, you want, just fill it out to whatever amount to reach your goal. Wow. God, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. All right. We'll see. We'll see you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Help me, my child, my baby. Hey, what's going on? Oh, God. What, what is it? I'm a mess, mess. I don't know. She was afraid to tell me you have her. Please just tell me it's a sick joke. I, I just, I turned my back for a second. Where is she? I don't know. Wait, we have to find her. We have okay. to find her. Please okay. help me find her. Help me. 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 Help she was practically right there, and then, then this little boy, he came over and... No, this is no little boy. No, no, no. Th um, this little boy, he, um, he needed help tying his shoe, and, and so I helped him. I... You weren't paying attention? No, 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 no I was. I, it, it was just, it was only for a second, and, and then I watched him go off, and, and then I turned, and then, and then Bess is gone. So some stranger just walked up and he took our baby? No, I don't, I don't know. I... It was just right there. It was just only a second. I'll never have her again. I'll never take my eyes off her. I, it just, it happened so fast. I, I don't know. I can't believe it. Neither can I. Bianca and Maggie, can you find us a cop? I, I have nothing. What about you? Nothing. I must have asked two dozen moms and four dozen kids. Nobody has seen anyone matching that description. Well, at least he didn't get away with Bess. Thank God. Babe must be so relieved. She's one lucky woman. She still has our Bess. Safe and sound. Let's just do one last run of the park. Yeah, we looked all around. I mean, the cops are out. I know, but it'll be worth it if we can just get one lead on the kidnapper. What are you thinking? Bess is a Chandler. They're high profile and very well off. You think she was targeted? Well, I think that Babe and Bess might both be targets, simply because Babe is married to JR. I just can't believe it. I mean, how much more does Babe have to go through? Her, her baby is kidnapped for a second time. <sighs> JR saved her in time. Bess is OK. I know. You're right. It's over. What's that? Fan mail? No, oh, it's for you. B and M travel. Oh, my goodness. So it is fan mail. Uh, no, air mail, actually. It's a voucher for a flight to Poland. 
Lena wants me to come be with her. Now, you could have just called me. Yes, I know. This was much more romantic. I miss you, too. And I would love to see Poland. No, forget Poland. I'd love to see you. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I make all the reservations. Soon. Yes, yes, I promise. Soon. <laughs> Me too. How sweet is that? It's because she misses you. Yeah, well, she does miss me, but her mother is starting a new treatment. But that's good news, right? Oh, yeah, it, it is, except it means that she can't get away to visit me. Well, she's seen Pine Valley. I mean, you've never seen Poland. You could use a break. Yeah, she's hoping for a little bit more than a break. Like, maybe the rest of the summer. Very cool. Very cool. European summer. Yeah, it, it could be amazing. It could be unreal. I mean, no reason for you to stay here. Your mom's in rehab. That's true. And Kendall is in one of her untouchable phases. Couldn't help her if I tried. Cool. Check the flights. I mean, come on. Why stay here? You don't have a lease. You're not in summer school. You have no commitments. It's true. The, the cosmetics industry will survive without me. I am absolutely free to do as I please. So, did you score a flight or what? Hey, you know, I wonder if the movie will be dubbed in Polish. That would be really funny. What's wrong? I, I hung up. I, I, before the ticket agent could take my reservation, I hung up. Okay, so you'll book a flight for the following day. No, or, or maybe I won't. Why? I can't do it. I love Lena. So why can't I leave Pine Valley? BJ's has the best pancakes. <laughs> it's not Kendall, it's not, it's not my mother. Well, this is your home. They say that home is where the heart is. So if that's true, I should be able to board that flight. Or maybe a little bit more of your heart is here with the people that you love. Or maybe it's with someone in particular. Something just keeps nagging at me. It's like somebody wants me to stay in Pine Valley. Bess? S is Babe and JR's baby. I know that now. If that's the reason, it's okay. I'm, I'm not gonna judge you. No, it's not okay. Lena gave me a ring, and now I can't even fly to visit her? What am I gonna say to her? Oh, God. Jamie, what's wrong? What, what is it? This Babe and Bess. You guys gotta help me save them. Wait a minute. Hold up. Why would JR drug babe? What, 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 would he, what was he trying to do? To get her to sleep with me. I thought I was in love with babe, but I backed off. I, mean, I was straight with you. I wanted JR to marry her, and I wanted that marriage to work. I know. So why would JR want babe to get under the sheets with you? Grounds for divorce? So he can dump Babe. Wait a minute. JR and Babe just got remarried. He can dump Babe and keep Bess. Jamie, JR loves Babe. What you're saying is. Who would do something like that? Like father, like son. JR is not a Chandler for nothing. When Adam wanted custody of JR, he got Dixie to believe she was going insane. Even had her committed, the whole thing. Yeah, well, Adam is Adam. Yeah, but JR is turning into him. And Babe loves him too much to see it. I thought blaming JR for drugging Babe, but he claims that you did it. The dealer said that JR paid him to get out of town. You're trusting the dealer on this? So, Jamie, you're telling me that you didn't actually see JR spike Babe's drink? No. But he did it, or he had someone else do it. Look, the thought of anybody intentionally hurting Babe makes me sick. But JR? Her own husband? Jamie, I can't even go there this too, but JR did it. He's been playing Babe the whole time. He's got her so snowed. Listen, Jamie, it's great that you're trying to protect Babe, and 
It sucks that JR tried to pin it on you, but don't do the same thing. I mean, maybe he really is innocent. I am not on a revenge trip. Jamie, JR and Babe have gone through enough lately. Yeah, I mean, they nearly lost Bess in the park. That's right, some guy tried to kidnap Bess, and JR brought her back. JR brought her back? Yeah. It's thank God he got there in time. You saw the whole thing? No, I didn't, I didn't see the whole thing, but I saw how freaked out JR was. And nobody else witnessed the guy that got away? We helped search the park for him, um, but nothing. So JR just happened to be there to save Bess? Wow, what a coincidence. Why am I the only one who's cluing into this? Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, don't go. Can we please just try to figure this out? Oh, hi. Goodbye. Oh, whoa, whoa, Maggie, hold on. What do you want? Is Jamie home? Why? So you can pin another unsolved crime on him? What are you trying to do, pull an OJ? Maggie, hear the man out, please. For what? You know, sometimes I'm sorry, but you're just a little too nice and a little too fair. Don't forget that he treated you like dirt, and now he's trying to do it to Jamie. Look, Jamie would never do anything to try to hurt Babe, so you can take you and your crazy can accusations. you just tell me where Jamie is? Hello? You can't just pretend I'm not here. Don't dismiss me like I'm one of your servants, JR. I need to find Jamie so I can apologize to him. I said some things today I didn't mean. I just want to set it right. Jamie was pretty upset when he left here. JR, I really hope you can get through to him. Yeah, me too. A uh, question. Why should we believe a single word that's coming out of your mouth? I didn't think before I mouthed off today. Jamie wouldn't be that skeevy. I know that. It's just when he accused me of hurting Babe, I lost it. Big whoop. Look, not for nothing, but this is Jamie's and my apartment. Maggie, you stand by Jamie. Here. You you take his side no matter what. Yes, definitely. Well, that's how I feel about my wife. How would you feel if Maggie accused you of drugging Lena? Well, th that's I mean, it's inconceivable. I would never hurt Lena. Well, that's how I felt when Jamie accused me. You'd be mad at, at Maggie, wouldn't you? You know what? It would really help matters if, if we knew who did drug Babe. Well, it could be anyone. But all that matters right now is that Jamie and I, we rule each other out. Neither of us would do anything to hurt Babe. We need to be protecting her. Together. You're gonna be great. You're gonna be Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How you doing? Everything okay? Well, I'm nervous and it must show because everybody's asking oh. me. Well, you look fine. Everybody's just concerned for you. That's all. We love you, you know? Thank you. You know that none of this would even be possible without you, Ryan. You're, you're the sweetest, most generous man I know. Well, we would do anything for you. You know that. Hey. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Listen, um, can I borrow Bianca for a minute? Oh. David, hey. I'm I'm so glad that you came. Yeah, well, it's not enough. Listen, um, I can't throw a lot of cash into new buildings or anything, but I just want you to know that I'm here to, you know, put together anything that you need. I'll organize the clinic, staffing, put together new programs, whatever. Okay, you just you don't even have to ask. Thank you. I'm I'm gonna take you up on that. I don't know how you do it, Bianca. I have to. For Miranda. If she were here, she would love her honorary Uncle David just like I do. You're the best. You're too good to me, Bianca. I don't deserve it. Thank you.
thank you all so much for coming here today to dedicate this very special place. Before I go on, I just want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to some extraordinary people who have volunteered to sit on the board of this foundation. Ryan Lavery, Kendall Hart, Dr. Maria Santos Gray, Brooke English, and Myrtle Fargate. As I look out on the faces of all the people here today who I love, I'm reminded how incredibly blessed we all are. And I know that there are reasons that God has chosen to have Miranda by his side instead of here with us. And someday I'll know what those reasons are. But in the meantime, I can try to give some meaning to my daughter's brief life beyond my own love and grief for her. Our community, like so many others, is filled with women and children who are abused or neglected or unwanted or have simply fallen through the cracks. These, these, these people, they, they want to help themselves and they need our help. We fortunate ones can easily lose sight of the fact that any one of us could wind up in the exact same situation. A debilitating accident, one bad choice, one wrong turn, and any one of us could find ourselves without a home or out of a job or unable to provide proper health care for our children. I know that if Miranda were here today, that she would have been one of the lucky ones because she would have all of you to light her way, as I have. But there are people who are less fortunate than I am and who are not as blessed as Miranda would have been. And so, today we dedicate the Miranda Montgomery Center for Women and Children so that we can spread some of that light and we can pass on the gift of hope that my daughter gave to me. On this spot, a building will rise. There will be a garden so that we can plant flowers and vegetables and inspiration. And there will be a playground so that children can play and forget about all the problems that they shouldn't even have to begin with. And there will be a clinic so that no child will be without vaccinations, no woman without pre- and postnatal care. A project like this happens one person, one step at a time. So I'll take the first step. Can you believe this? Oh, hey. I'm with you on the cracking skulls idea. Yeah, I know, and I know exactly whose skull to crack. Who knew yuppie punk Seth could cause so much damage? And the yuppie punk that put him up to it. JR. You mean? How could he? Couldn't and didn't. Maggie. Maggie I... what? You actually think that he could and did? I don't know enough to think anything. Well, you point. know Jamie. Case closed. Well, that won't be good enough for Lieutenant Perry. We're gonna have to move out and strategize. You plan on busting him out? No, your aunt can do that. But we may have to bust JR ourselves. Let's go. Hey, I know that you care about Okay, Jamie. just do this for me. Okay, picture Jamie grinding a pill into powder and putting it into Babe's drink so that he can have sex with her while she's too high to give consent. That's nasty. No, that's rape. And that makes Jamie no different than Michael Cambius. I'm sorry, but, you know, that's what we're talking about here. Do not use that chump's name in the same sentence as Jamie's, okay? Oh, my God. You people need to fire your maid. No, we've been robbed. No, no, no. You've been tossed. It's like a police search. What? Whoa, excuse me. Can you please put that down? That's not yours. Check the warrant. Uh, it's a Rocco, right? 
Let's take a walk, Miss Fry. Nice. Very friendly. And God forbid they'd be a little neat. Yeah, and they this fingerprint dust. They couldn't wipe that up. Well, you better be glad for that. Oh, yes, I'm thrilled. Well, at least you know where they've been. But look at this. Phone bills, bank statements. Oh, I bet there's some missing. Yeah, I know. They want to know what he's been spending and who he's been calling. I know. His PDA's gone, too. They must want his schedule and his phone book. They want everything. But to get a search warrant like this, you got to be looking for something specific. But what? You can ask me. Didn't Sergeant Fatboy tell you to leave? Ugh. Reggie, my first doll had a badge. I knew a real thug from a snitch before I was two. Oh, so you two went down memory lane or something? I had to pretend to leave, then sneak back in. Why did you have to sneak? I'm still grounded. Plus, Daddy wouldn't want me here anyway. With Reggie? In a drug den. Excuse me? A drug den? Looks like they found Jamie's stash. The only stash Jamie has is his, his stale cupcakes. Well, according to my friend the sergeant, the pills they found were the same stuff that got Babe sick. Oh, Maggie, I'm no, so don't sad. Say it. Don't, because if you say it, then you believe it. And if you believe it, I swear I will scream. Maggie, you and Jamie are friends. More than friends, I get that. But you know what? Me and JR, we're close, too. You're such good buddies. He froze you out for months. And then he apologized. One day ago, Bianca. It's not the point. The point is that Adam would drug his wife and try to pin it on his brother, not JR. Actually, even Adam wouldn't do this to Stuart. So now we know JR is a bigger sleaze than his father. How depressing. Uh, no, no, he's not. Look, JR and I swore to each other we wouldn't become anything like our parents. Well, I guess he's changed his mind. Never. JR would rather die than be anything like Adam Chandler. Maggie, the whole world doesn't have to agree with us. Just the people that can cut Jamie loose. Okay, so then what do we have to back us up? Seth told the cops that JR paid his way out of town. Okay, well, that's some big, ugly evidence that we can smack JR in the face Wait, with. Or, or maybe JR was just trying to keep Babe safe. Oh, Bianca, you're too nice. Oh, it makes more sense than JR doing a total moral. No, it eight. makes perfect sense. Come on, nice. And isn't Jamie turning freak out of the blue? Ladies, ladies, please, whatever happened to the peaceful coexistence of opposing ideas? We have work to do here. All right, back to the stash. How did it get here? Where did it come from? I say it was planted. Well, I can promise you it wasn't the police, not on Daddy's force. Which means it had to oh be. Oh, my God. What? Last night, Bianca, we let JR in. So that he could wait for Jamie and apologize to him. He felt bad for accusing him about Babe. <laughs> Bianca, it's called a cover. He was never alone. Danielle, where did they find the trucks? Stuff between the sofa cushions. Exactly where JR sat. Not saying that Jamie is guilty. That's not for me to say. But if he is innocent, does that automatically mean that JR did it? I mean, can't they both be wrong All right, about each Bianca, other? Bianca, listen, you're too sweet, OK? You want to hug the world like a big, fluffy dog. I understand that. But if you're not careful, that dog can mess on your carpet. Oh, lovely image. Thank you for that. OK, look, we just went from bad to ugly. Uglier than drugs in your sofa? We know that those are planted, but why would the cops see Jamie's computer? You know what? You are a worthless, skeevy piece of no Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just stop right there. Get out of my house. Or what? Now. You're going to have me arrested, too? Would you control your friend? Dad, it's all right. What? What happened? Like you don't know. You planted more than your butt in our couch last night, JR. Bianca, would you fill me in? <sighs> We know why Jamie was arrested. Just like you planned. Your buddy Seth's lie wasn't big enough, and the cops found the drugs that you planted in our couch. Ugh. You think I set him up? The exact same drug that put Babe in the hospital. Are you proud of yourself, Jer? Maggie, I swear I would you never do swear to someone like who that. believes you, because I know that you're full of it. This is quite pathetic. Jer, fess up. Come on, I know a stone cold fact that that couch was a drug free zone before you sat there. Bianca, am I right? You were there. Jamie has, has never been into drugs. Bianca, do you think that I would do something that messed up to my brother? I'd like to know too. Do you believe it, Bianca? 
Maggie's lost it. She's grabbing at anything that looks better than the truth. Jamie did not put those drugs there. Neither did J.R. Babe, do you honestly believe that the father of your child could have done anything that despicable to his own brother? Bianca, do you believe that my husband framed Jamie? <laughs> this is crazy. They're both great guys. I, I grew up with them. I don't know what to believe. Of course she's confused. Who wouldn't be? It's all upside down right now. Because you turned it over. You were on that couch. Are you really going to try and deny it? No. You're right, I was. I came over there claiming to apologize. I sat on the couch. I planted drugs to frame Jamie. That's what you want to hear? That's what it would take to set him free? But I didn't do it. I would do anything to save my brother, but this, this is out of my hands. Oh, you're so full of it. Do you think I want to believe that he drugged my wife, that he's so sick that he'd sleep with her when she's totally out of it? Please stop it. I don't. But there are facts that I cannot ignore, no matter how much I love Jamie. Babe, are you falling for this? Bianca, please, will you please talk to her and set her straight? She doesn't have to. I already know the truth. He loves his family. And you don't know him the way that I do. There's no way that Jair is capable of shredding Jamie's life. Bianca, do you have something to add? Well, almost everybody knows what you did to Jr.'s mom, Adam. I, I don't know why you would do this, but did you frame Jamie? If you did anything to hurt Jamie, it is over for us for good. JR, I please. swear I'll pack up my daughter and my wife. You'll never hear from us ever again. And I will be right behind you. JR, JR, I, I know I did a terrible thing to your mother. And I've made some horrible mistakes in my life, but I hope I've learned from them. And I hope that I become a man, a father that you can trust. Oh my God, I'm gonna hurl. So, you didn't? No, no, I could never hurt Jamie any more than you could. I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry that I didn't trust no, you. No, it's all right. You're upset, I understand. What is this, Chandler Family Theater? I can understand, Bianca, why you would doubt me considering my reputation. But I swear to you, on the life and the love I have for my son, that I had nothing to do with what happened to Jamie. Neither did Jamie. Perhaps if you spend a little less time having sex with Jamie in someone else's limousine, then your, uh, your judgment wouldn't be so clouded. Bianca, don't listen to what he's saying. They're both in on this. I'm sorry you feel that way. Excuse me, this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, no, no. Where, where do you think you're going? I am going to see if Jr. has any egoties in his computer. I know, no, you're not. No, you don't. No. If you're so sure of your son's innocence, then what's the problem? This is private property. No, no, Dad, it's all right. If it makes Maggie happy, let her go. I am not going to surrender control of my house to a street urchin. But thank you, but I am pre-mad. No, you're leaving. No, stop it. Let her go. Bianca, are you coming? I'm not ready. You're siding with them? Maggie, it's, it's not about no. sides. Whatever. Just, just watch your back, all right? You can't listen to a word they say. Thank you. Good riddance. 